in last meeting we discussed about how to create a model and um, how to create a project inside the project we have already created some elements right elements in the sense uh, like a table and uh, yesterday we have created this model see here in the recent in the start page itself there is a recent option is there in the recent option we have created this model hr management solution from here also you can open the uh, open your project and uh, from here also you just you just go to the open model and there is a project and you can go to the uh, hr management solution you just need to select this particular hr management solution option here directly okay now uh, if it is not open the solution explorer you can open from here solution explorer and uh, anyway the properties window will be automatically come here okay uh, last meeting in last meeting we created uh, the table called emp table right in this table we just have created uh, some columns called like our uh, employee ID, name age date of birth address and phone number uh, in if you want you can create a few more columns later point of time that is possible that you can add uh, some more columns uh, in future if you required okay uh, successfully we have created the table and also i told you about the build process if you uh, if you want to open the table successfully you need to build the project first in the in build process what will happen that also we have seen in the yesterday meeting now uh, the next concept which i am going to tell you about how to create a form for this table we just created a table that's it suppose i want to present uh, this information to end user how we need to create a user interface object that is called form now we are creating a form uh, that form uh, let me show you something here so first of all i'm going to show you a, one sample form that we will replicate in our uh, project for emp table a very simple form i'm going to tell you like if you go to the uh, any module like uh, hr management for example there is a reason codes not reason codes just let me go back to the very simple form courses For example, there is a not this course locations, course groups. See here, it's very simple form. Here only we have two columns. I mean two fields, group and description. These are all fields. In the same way, I will I will also create like employee ID, employee name, age, date of birth, address, phone number like that okay and here uh, we will create filter control and here i will show the caption of the form anyway uh, this one edit button new button delete button all these things are default uh, uh, controls okay let's try to create this form for emp table now let's go to the uh, right click on the map project management here hr management project and go to the add go to the new item now your form will be i mean if you want to create a form that will be available in the user interface node just uh, let me select the user interface here there is a form option is there now rename it here i'm giving the same name here emp table our table name is also same emp table i'm providing the same name here so somewhat this is called naming conventions if you are providing same name to the form also we will not get confused in future suppose if you are giving some different name to the form definitely we will confuse and uh, uh, if any other people are referring your project those people also will get confused so just follow the naming conventions here consistency this is called consistency okay now 
add the form here see here form has been added uh, form folder okay forms folder has added here and uh, your form is there here now automatically it will open in the designer area once you click on the add button automatically your form will be added in the project and uh, the form automatically adds into your designer area here you can see uh, this is one box this is another box and this is your preview box preview box below okay whatever we are doing in the above two boxes so it will show the preview of your design now see here now your form is there in the hr management model and here there are uh, nodes methods node events node data sources parts and design totally we have five nodes in the form now okay let's start uh, the development first you need to drag this table into the drag this table into the data source that we need to do first step okay drag the table <laughs> now what happens right now the form and the table are interlinked i mean we have established a connection between the form and the table now the table is available in the data sources in the data sources now we should not call it as a table this one we should call it as a data source okay let me expand the data source here methods events fields field groups some blah blah is there okay now if you expand the fields whatever you created in the table you can see here address yes date of birth okay address date of birth employee ID, partition and all okay now First of all, I'm going to design my form here. Okay, keep it like this only. Expand your fields and keep it like this. And now I'm going to the design and uh, go to the properties. So first, what exactly I need to do? I need to provide the caption, right? I need to provide the caption. First, I'm providing a caption here, like uh, all employees all employees okay now this is the caption see once you provide the caption automatically it has came here okay now after that after that i need to provide the i need to create a filter control right okay let's create a filter control right click on the design new option see these are all predefined options predefined controls in the form like uh, action pane button control button group chart okay like a date control like a grid control group control like a image control menu button menu item button like radio buttons quick filter control progress bar like there are so many controls are there these are these are all predefined controls and one more thing i need to tell you here only these controls i can uh, i need to use and i need to develop the form this application will not allow third party controls i cannot import any third party controls to design my form that is not possible okay now i'll do one thing so i need to create a filter control right so that will be available here you just see here quick filter quick filter see it is added okay and uh, you just need to do one thing uh, once you created a control by default system will give you the name with one number quick filter control one so you just need to change the name uh, like uh, quick filter control or quick filter like this <clears throat> that is your wish but better to rename it so don't leave the uh, stand uh, don't leave the default names okay don't leave the default names now here uh, coming to the next control what is the next control here grid right grid control now i'm going to creating a grid control again right clicking on the design new control there is a grid 
okay let me create a grid control and uh, change the name like form grid okay form grid control or form grid your wish no problem and first you need to provide the data source property to the grid that is very important property for grid control data source is very important now select the current data source name this is your current data source name i mean this is the address of the address of the data source i mean for for this grid control which data source you are pointing because sometimes we will have more than one data source will be available in the data sources so that for grid control only i can able to assign one data source at a time i cannot assign more than one data source so that we need to provide uh, for grid control data source is very important without a data source you cannot design the uh, we cannot show the data in the grid control data source properties compulsory for the grid control okay don't forget it now now you we just need to drag the fields from from here to grid control in a specific order which in which order you want to show the data for example first i need to show employee ID. drag the employee ID. after that i need name after that uh, yes after that date of birth after that uh, address after that phone number so i don't want to drag the table id record id and partition these are all system fields why i need to show to the end user these are all uh, uh, related to system fields right only the i'll show the business fields like uh, suppose if you miss if you missed any order see here in the design in the preview pane you can see there is a caption there is a filter control there is a grid control right suppose uh, if i missed the order like i just want to keep the phone number in the address place so just select the phone number and use alt button up arrow alt key hold the alt key and use up arrow down arrow to move the controls up and down okay and don't use the mouse uh, to drag the controls from uh, uh, up and down here Okay. okay so you can you can move the you can move the controls up and down by using the alt button up arrow down arrow keys okay successfully we have created the a simple form uh, let me save the changes here after that you can click on the save button to save your form everything okay one or two times now you need to build the project this time synchronization is not required because we have not done uh, anything on the table right only we have created a form that's it for form creation or form uh, uh, build process synchronization is not required you just need to uh, flip to false so you can reduce the time build process time okay click on build process click on the build option and uh, i'll show you how to open this form see here in a in a fraction of seconds the build process completed here successfully now i just want to open this form in the user interface now right click on the form set as startup object to open the form set as startup object for table how can i open the table by using open table browser option is there when you click here automatically our table will be open in the browser itself for, but for form we need to make set as a startup object when you click here automatically your form name see here form will be turned into the bold letters now there is a start button click on start button now your visual studio went into the debugging mode Visual Studio will be debug your project, and uh, if there is any startup object available in your project, system will execute that. 
just a second this is common process for every uh, form opening or anything automatically browser will be open and uh, your form also will open in the browser itself see here all employees filter control grid we have created and this record we have created in table level actually that is replicated here and the edit button new button delete button all these uh, buttons added by default in a form 